Alejandro Mayorkas sounding the alarm on FEMA funding right after the devastation of Hurricane Helene. Listen. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. This all comes as the Biden-Harris administration spent over a billion dollars from a FEMA program on services for migrants. Attorney General of the great state of Florida, Ashley Moody, joins me now. A.G. Moody, why does the Biden-Harris administration always seem to help American taxpayers last? Good morning, Todd. Yeah, everyone should be waking up this morning outraged by that comment. This is not something that has just happened recently, and Florida's been warning about this since this administration took over. Mayorkas has come in like a virus and infected these what need to be healthy, strong, fundamental programs to ensure the stability and safety of Americans in times of disaster. So you heard they have taken the FEMA emergency food and shelter program and over time siphoned off hundreds of millions of dollars into basically making it an illegal immigrant resettlement program. And so when you see these states and cities around the nation declaring emergencies, even blue states, because of what this administration has done, encouraging more and more and more, developing programs to encourage more and more and more people to come here, there have, the government, Biden and Harris, are having to fund that on the backs of the American people. And now, right now, when Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, all of these states are hurting because of this truly natural disaster, not a Biden-Harris-made disaster, they're saying we need more money. And of course they need more money because they've been laundering it from the true intended, intended purpose of this fund that Congress set forth. Laws be damned. There's two things going on here. We just touched upon the main thing, this horrific prioritization of migrants over American taxpayers. But there's also something else here. What does this say about the Biden-Harris administration's ability to just lead if they underfunded FEMA this much and we are not even close to being in the heart of hurricane season, which in reality is August, September, October and November, A.G. Moody? Look, this is what President Trump did so well while in office. He could get to a 30,000 foot level, look at the health of American agencies and programs, determine what the problems were, and enlist resources, talented individuals, and a strategy to put Americans and, and the safety and strength of this nation first. I've seen it work here in Florida with Governor DeSantis. We, we decide where our problems are, we set forth to fix them, and we make sure not only money, but the strategy and talented personnel are in place to fix them. So for example, when you have a, a disaster like this and you know when there's no electricity, instability, when there's people wanting, needing just the basics of life because of a disaster, I was with officers the other night and they were, we surged our resources in vulnerable areas to looting. We made sure officers knew what to look for when it was in complete darkness. Right. They knew what to charge. We make sure our state attorneys know to hold these people so they don't get back out and start ravaging these communities again. It takes proactive efforts, and you just do not see this out of this administration. And here in the roosters are coming home to roost. Look at what's happening right now. The Florida model when really— When we're in the middle of a disaster with this administration at the helm. You're right. The Florida model really does need to be a 50-state solution. Just want to mention this. You all launched an anti-looting team in response to Hurricane Helene, coming as eight migrant workers are arrested in Tennessee, accused of stealing from flooded buildings. You guys do it right down there. I would just add, only a depraved person 